everyone, my name's Amy from Thorn Almonds Pottery, and today we are doing a splatter paint ball, and we're gonna learn how to splatter paint, just like this, inside and out. So what you need first is a bowl. This is called our splatter bowl. Looks like a drop of paint. And then you'll need some brushes, of course. So we have a bunch of different kinds of brushes. Some are a little wiry, some are fluffy, just a bunch. Then you will need a bowl of water with a sponge. It doesn't have to be a fancy sponge like this. It could be a kitchen sponge, up to you. And then of course, lastly, we need our colors. So we're gonna do the rainbow. We got red, orange, yellow, green, and of course, blue and purple in these cute little containers. If you have like an old toothbrush from home, that is a great tool to splatter paint with as well. These brushes will work pretty similarly, but if you have an old one or one you don't use, we can use this toothbrush too. This project in particular can be a little bit messy, especially with splatter paint. So all these glazes are water soluble, so if you get them on your table or anything like that, they'll come out. But still, if you have a little small box at home, you can paint inside the box and that way glaze doesn't get anywhere on your countertops or anything like that. Or you can use a folder in particular to kind of make a safeguard. We actually do this in the studio a lot. All right, so our first step is that we're gonna wipe down our bowl. This is just to get dust off. You can use a simple sponge and a little bit of water, squeeze out that water, and just wipe down everywhere that you would splatter on it, on the outside and the inside, just so that the glaze can stick a little bit better. So we're gonna get started splatter painting. It's important to know that anywhere that does not have paint on it will be dipped in, the whole thing will be dipped in a clear glaze so that way it's food safe and it is okay to put in the dishwasher. So what we're gonna start with is we are going to take one of our fluffy brushes and we will dip it in whatever color we wanna start with. I'm gonna go red and I'm really gonna glob it on there, get a whole lot. And then I'm gonna be quick and start flicking my paintbrush all over. And you're gonna get dots, you're gonna get lines. This is a pretty low stakes project, so it's okay if you get splatter everywhere, it's okay if it's not perfect. What you need to do is just keep trying different techniques. So this one, I like doing where you kinda spray it like that. You can also tap your brush. A lot of times, people like to hit it hard and then go like that. Uh, don't forget to change colors every now and then. The colors will blend together. We don't have any blue yet, I'm gonna go blue splatter like that, get some lines. You can also dip colors together. So maybe I wanna make a blue green, I'm gonna dip my brush into blue and green, and I'm gonna splatter that way. If you had a toothbrush pulled out at home, you can basically do the same technique by dipping the toothbrush in glaze and then spraying it with your thumb or your finger. Personally, I really like the lines. So I'm gonna do some red and yellow and kind of slap it down like that. Turn your bowl every now and then because you're definitely gonna get a blank side just like I did. <laughs> it is supposed to be messy, so have fun. And keep going until you feel you're done. Most important thing about this project is that there's no wrong way to do it. I have finished splattering my bowl to where I want it to be. So we're gonna let it dry for a little bit. You'll know it's dry when the glaze looks like sidewalk chalk. So we're just gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes. Now that your bowl is dry, the last step is to write your full name on the bottom, first and last, using a pencil, not a pen or a marker. Now that our name is on the bottom of the piece and our piece is dry, you just have to bring it back to Throne Elements Pottery and we'll fire it for you. 